Oh, YouTube. I want to go briefly over how to replace the motor, filter, and sponge filter for the PetSafe Drinkwell Pagoda. So let's get right to it. I've had this thing for a couple of years now, and it works really well for the cats. The cats really enjoy drinking from there. I want to replace the motor because it's gotten really grungy over the years and it's a really noisy motor now. It didn't start this way and considering it's only like $15 I just had to replace it. This is the part number you would order. I found it right on Amazon. Before I get into the details, I briefly want to go over how you can make your own filter. Now, I'm personally not going to do this anymore because it's kind of bothersome. It takes a lot of time and effort and in the end these filters only cost like four, five dollars or something for a four pack. But if you do want to make your own filter, take some cheesecloth, cut kind of a smallish square. Um, you can then go to any pet supply store and you can pick up activated carbon. Usually this is what you would put in, a, in an aquarium but it's basically charcoal and that's what filters the water in the end so you just kind of stuff the cheesecloth in here like this you would pour the charcoal in there and not to make a mess like I did and then you kind of tie it off like this I use a rubber band then to cap off this bag here that I created and that's it I would then stuff it into a uh, filter that I cut open. I got rid of the old charcoal and now I have fresh charcoal in here and just put it into the enclosure and that's my own filter. But like I said, I'm not going to do that too. So let's begin with the motor. If you have this properly assembled, all you need to do is remove this rubber cap here. The top stem you need to fish out the motor and cable. Grab your new motor here. I'm gonna try to remove this QC Past sticker. I don't want any glue in this and I'll give it a quick rinse too. Push it through. Now would probably be a good time for the sponges. Again, this is directly from PetSafe. Here's the part number on it. Five dollars of these. I'm gonna put the rubber stopper back in. You can see it has a notch here. That's for the cable. Pull it back over the cable. All right. I'll take this plastic enclosure. That's where the filter would go. Here's the part number on the filters. I think they recommend running some water through. Yeah, you should rinse the carbon filter in your sink before you begin to use it. Because the carbon has a lot of sedimentation that might actually manage to escape through the through this mesh here and it'll eventually find its way into your motor, which might cause premature wear. Break it into this enclosure, snap it right in, and put this top ceramic, oops, I think this is the wrong orientation. Put ceramic cover on, and that's it. You are finished. Now fill it with water. Let's see if we were successful in our handiwork. Add a bit of water. Jeez, it's noisy outside. Very nice. Quiet operation. Runs like new. For reference, let's plug the old one in and see how it sounded. There we go, once you really attach it to the bottom. It's a noisy fella. And from before, the reason I made my own filters for these, because I, you know, it's 
They're a little more environmentally friendly because every time you would be chucking a piece of plastic in the trash and I didn't like that, but I don't know. Anything for convenience sake, right? I hope you enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.